Now you can access Clever one of two ways. Uh, you can either go to the Holman website and click on the Clever uh, link here, or you also have a Clever app, uh, which is actually just a link to the uh, exact same Clever website. So when I click on it, it is going to ask me for uh, a username and password. So what I want to do is I need to log in with my Active Directory account. So when I hit Active Directory, what it's looking for is my username and password. Now your username is just the first part of your email address. It's the same thing that's on the sticker on the bottom of your laptop. So again, uh, I, I make sure that I didn't type in my entire email address, just the first part. You also want to make sure that there are no extra spaces. Sometimes there'll be an extra space before your name, um, and that can prevent you from being able to log in. Also make sure there's no extra spaces at the end of your name. Again, any of those extra characters can prevent your login from working. Uh, your password is just your first initial, followed by your student number, followed by your last initial, all lowercase. So once I've entered my uh, username and password, I'm going to go ahead and hit sign in. And from here, I am logged into Clever, and I can access whatever it is that your, uh, your teacher told you you need access to.